Well, hi there. Woo-hoo! Welcome to Wing Lift Radio. Wing Lift Radio. Wing Lift Radio. Stephen D. Lightspring here, and I've been hang gliding for some time oh, here. Yeah. Inner Eagle Skies. A place to be. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the fresh air. Oh, yeah. The nice little wing lifts I often feel from my cohorts or er, co-hosts here. Uh-huh. Some say are nothing more than the figment of my imagination. Sweet. If I were a swearing man, I'm quite sure I'd swear that I'm not quite all alone here. You got it, Eagle Man. Maybe they're just <laughs> part of me. You know, different voices that I can almost hear in those moments I can get quiet enough to maybe hear them clearly. Oh, yeah. That is, if they were actual voices. You light up my life. Of course, you've probably never had any such thing happen to you, so you probably think we're more than a bit nutty or yeah. even fruity around here. Get get fruity. Sounds like a fruitcake to me. me. Something that's Woo-hoo. probably too much of a good thing like we might be for you here. You give then again, me hope. maybe you at least find all this more than a bit intriguing. Uh. Or who knows? Maybe more than a bit like some odd moments you've had in your own heart and mind. Aha! Uh-huh. Or for whatever reason, you find all this unreasonably amusing and are considering flying with us for a few. Oh yeah. If so, we'd sure be glad to have you touching wings with us and see if we can't come up with an aha or maybe even an aha-ha moment. It's quite possible, you know, to experience at least a wee bit of delightment. That's right. Or at least some outer or maybe even some deeper entertainment. Yeah. You probably won't find detainment that's any more inner than here at Inner Eagle Sky. That's right. Why? No one's totally sure, but maybe that my co-hosts are very much from somewhere inner side. Maybe. Uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, on one hand, we have my right-hand wise man wise guy and General Alter Eagle here, who keeps us guessing and grinning as we go. You got it, Eagle Man. And then there's my inner winter child and sometimes just wild child who <laughs> seems to be quite handy with sound effects yeah, and exclamations oh, and goodness. occasional bursts into song mm-hmm. at just the right or so unright moment. I'm on the pop of the swirl. <laughs> they are known as the geese and the tweeds, respectively and as much as possible respectively. That's right. <laughs> Yes, geezer and tweezer originally, but often just my alter eagle wise guy, the geese, and my sometimes wild child, the tweeds. So, what do you think, guys? Can we do lots better at squeezing in your intros much sooner in the program this time? You betcha! Woohoo! No prob, Rob, or Eagle Man. But last time was still four and a half jiffies. We were aiming for half a jiffy. Okay, so this time, what do you think? Two and a half jiffies. Okay, well, we're doing better then. We messed up on the last time. Having so much funsies, that silly earth time just got way away from us. Yeah, well, we'll see if we can get on track and keep our train of thoughts going down. Now we're squawking. So our theme thought for the day is be and be delight. That's right. So first we're going to just jump right into a pretty lively talkie song that just might be a good word for mm-hmm. some hard-working but often underappreciated people out there who are doing their best to be and be the life in their heart and soul and all they do. That's right. It's called mm-hmm. Underrated Roll. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
think I hear a heartbeat. That smile that I just beamed at you a moment or two ago is a priceless piece of me that I then chose to shine to show. In a moment, just a slice of all the scenery of my heart, just because of this deep joy yes. in me, I've chosen to depart. <laughs> oh, yeah. good for me for you to know that it's my intention here to spread goodwill for you to feel a taste or two of cheer <laughs> that's beaming from the core of me it's just because i care <laughs> to beam out from this light in me this love i'm here to share yes that's right good <laughs> for me it's so good <laughs> So please just know that all I do, I do it for the love. So <laughs> yes, it's to be understood, the patient be enough. But a million bucks an hour couldn't touch the world's I'm worth. So when I put my priceless heart in it, it's the greatest prize on earth. Good and food and me. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> With this understanding, with this knowledge in my soul, that because of all I put in it, each deed I do, I know that all I give is part of me, this priceless heart and mind. So all I do is a treasure, it's my gift to humankind that flows from deepest rivers from the wellspring of this wealth. The treasure that I am, that I release deep in myself, <laughs> to fill all I am doing with my being, with my soul. All I do is for love to serve and this underrated role. Yes. You are love. You are enough. Yes. So there you have it. One that I've had the privilege of performing quite a few times, but I believe that was a first for our geezerness. I just love how you delivered that. Anytime, Black Divine. And we've got to love how Tweez gave it his special chirpy touches too. Well, sir, I must say you sure brought your perky little presence in quite nicely there, puppy chow. Arf, arf. Ah, what an odd lot we are. I'm on the Papa the Swirl. You better believe the game. <laughs> Down you got it, Whistlebeam. It's the only Nobody says it like you says it, Sparkle Spit. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. I've got to get on with the show. Show? What show? Well, they call it a show, even if it's just something you give show us. Fun. You know, like when our Eagle Dreamer here gives a preview of a song. Preview of a song. Huh? Or, you know, like... When you ship something by truck. What? <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. It's just the way it is with English. We're with you, Eagle Beak. So, B and Bean Delight. On our first show. Show? Or episode. We thought out loud about the star you are. And considered if maybe we are each here to beam something of our own into the world. That's right. Somebody needs to lighten it up around here on this odd little planet. Excuse me, can I get a light? <laughs> uh-uh, no smoking on cloud nine. We are so far beyond smoking, dear Twizzlebee. Like every beaming star, we be to fire. That's why it's so important to be and beam delight we are. If at our core we are energy or spirit, then we be to fire. Woohoo! Excuse me, can I get a light? <laughs> and in that first spoken word piece, if we listened... That's right. Yes, very closely. Mm -hmm. Just might have picked up a good word, too. Oh, yeah. About beaming the light of our heart as much as possible. You got it, Eagle Dreamer. In everything we do. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha.
few years back when I first began to get it, the more I got quiet and listened to and followed my heart, the more it was likely that I would find some meaningful heart-to-heart -heart sharing with more souls around me who were learning how to get and hopefully stay in the heart zone as well. <laughs> that was over 15 years ago, and I've had plenty of rough days and sizable challenges. But whatever is going on, I seem to have found a resource, a way to replug into my source. A delight that seems to shine through the more I stay open to it and open to it and open with it, that it'll keep coming through. If I get still enough and stay centered enough, it, it does seem to stay lit, whether I'm letting it shine or not. Oh yeah. And that's why it's good to spend some time at the Wisham Well. Mm-hmm. At the Wisham Well. The Wisham Well. The Wisham Well. When you come into your day before you go into your world and you let your heart fill up there as you focus on the pearl of the love you are inside you, down there at your very core, the treasure at the heart of you, the star of you and more. And you rest there on the wings of all this beaming light in you that lifts you up to live it out and beam it through and through in everything you do. Though you can never really tell how it's received, you'll say a prayer at your heartfelt wish you well. some will love you for it, then they'll start to need you to keep right on being loving in a way they never knew. And others will most likely be in question of your light, in need for you to prove to them its love is shining bright. Still others may despise you, for they've never trusted love, or they somehow have been burned before. Whatever their responses, it's not for you to dwell on any of them. Only say a prayer at the wish them well. Some days your love will flourish in the eyes and heart of some who will love you and will praise you for all the good in them is done. Some days your noblest loving may go on unnoticed still, no matter what your efforts or your purpose, strength of will. Some days your finest fans may forget to fan your flame, to spur you on to doing all your work, but just the same. You'll go on beaming boldly, for deep inside is where you dwell. In love for them, you'll say a prayer, and forever 
wish him well. During those early days, I often found total strangers lighting up with me and it was amazing how these remarkable connections would happen over and over again. I had so many of these I wanted to write a book with her, maybe a book about it. It was still undercover to most people though. Most people living in their dizzy busy heads wouldn't notice much difference. But those who were in touch with their heart zone had the same heart radar it seemed. And that was often all we had to go on to connect. It would be a hurried moment at a highway toll booth, yes, back when they had people, or in a checkout line at the discount store. Most often they were people from other countries who so often didn't have much else to go on to communicate in American English, so they would go with their heart wavelength instincts that seemed to me to be quite well developed likely because they needed to, to make it in a country and language that was not their own. Thank you, Sa, the toll gate lady from Africa explained. And then she'd do the amazing African wave. Sometimes from three cars back and two lanes over. She'd still see me coming. Amazing things like that could fill a book. One Asian gentleman at the toll booth stood up straight and saluted me with the highest regard I've ever felt from another human being in any connecting moment, much less a 15-second cash payment change and go with. Yes, I could write books about such connections by now, but it seems that so much of my early, though late bloomer, heart and soul inner Eagle Sky journeys were all about just reconnecting with my own heart and seeing how much I could stay there. It seems that it wasn't just with people. There were animals that took a liking to me in a unique way. One was a stray kitten being raised by two dogs, oddly but fascinatingly enough, that was one of my early teachers on my inner eagle skies journeys of which much was outward traveling for most of a year there a decade ago while i grappled with a sense of renewed purpose for my life after volumes of what we've come to call poetic bliss uh, kept coming to me for months and then years on end i called it my vision quest year with much respect for those in Native American traditions who go through much more severe conditions to catch their vision. Mine, in so many ways, too, was a deep heart and soul quest for gaining some sense of what I might have landed on this planet to be and being. And there's much to tell about my first vision quest little sensei, and surprisingly, just last year, ten years later, it turned into a song which I'm hoping will be part of an album and small book planned about my vision quest year. Hopefully to be finished sometime this year. If that sounds intriguing to you, stay tuned. And one reason we do are very blessed to keep it light around here even as we go deep. At best, we're always beginning, always learning just how much we don't know. So it seems that to just be and just beam and share delight is a much more workable intention than trying to know everything or anything really. So in short, maybe it's to the degree that we be delight. Maybe we'll get to beam delight. And that just might take some practice, learning to listen to our heart zone and Tap into delight that's there. Spark, I see you know. The light that the one called the good book says lights everyone who comes into the world. That spark, I and remember, see you know. if everything around seems dark, look again. You may be the light, but being a candle is not easy. 
in order to give light, one must first burn. Yeah, that spark, I see in you. But if light is in your heart, you will find your way home. All three of these. From the mystic poet of the 13th century, Rumi. We live radio. Sweet, sweet surrender, like a fish in the water. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. Goodness. Like a bird in the air. Wing lift radio. Shine, 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 shine. Hey, go where you're watching. Watch where you're going. And do what you can see. See what you can do? <laughs> you got it, Twizzlebean. Anytime, <laughs> Light Divine. <laughs>